Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and today I'm joining Heidi from Heidi Sumble DIY and Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine on the Using Trash to Create Treasure Challenge. And I'm so excited because I love to use my trash to create treasures. And today we will be making beautiful DIYs using trash. And we're gonna make two of them. Now, let me show you everything we will need. These are the supplies to make our clock. We're gonna use a clock machine, that one from Walmart. We're gonna use some clock hands because the ones that the machine came with are too short. Those beads and this piece of cardboard of a pizza box. And we're gonna use this contact paper wallpaper. That's not contact paper, it's wallpaper. And it's wooden and I love it. Hot glue gun and our scissors. Now let's get started. To start our clock, we're gonna measure a piece of the wallpaper and we're gonna cut it like that, leaving a little bit to the sides. And now we're gonna start gluing it to our cardboard. For that, we're gonna remove the paper backing, like that, a little bit of that paper backing. And then we're gonna stick it to our cardboard and start pressing it to our cardboard. <laughs> and then we will flip it and cut a little bit, little pieces of the wallpaper. And then we're gonna start gluing that to the back like you see me here. We continue doing that until we finish all of our contact paper sides. Like that. And then we're gonna take that cardboard circle and we're gonna trace it to the other side of the paper. And do the same thing to cover the back of our clock. Just like that. And then we're gonna cut the excess. And that will be it. Now, we're gonna make a circle, no, a hole <laughs> for our clock. And we're gonna take the machine and we're gonna measure it to the back like that to see if it fits. Now you're gonna see me try to put the little hands to the clock to see how they fit like that just to see how everything fits. And now I'm gonna assemble, using my instructions, I'm gonna assemble my clock. I put the machine and I'm just adding the pieces that the instructions said I had to add. And now I'm adding the hands for my clock. And we have that part done. Now we're gonna move to our numbers that they are gonna be some beads and we're gonna hot glue those beads all around that. I'm gonna measure them and now I'm gonna hot glue them to my clock. And we're gonna continue playing around with our beads and adding them to our cardboard circle until we have all of our numbers. I want this clock for my desk so we're gonna add a wooden block to the back so it stands on itself now I finished that and I'm gonna add that wooden block to the back like that a little bit of hot glue and that's it we have our clock these are our supplies for our second project we're gonna use this Nesquik, not sponsored, <laughs> bowl and 
We are going to use the rope that I removed from my wreath, the one that I made with the beads. This clothesline from Walmart, some baker's twine, I bought it at the pharmacy, and those seashells and those beads we have two left over from the clock and a round one. Also our scissors and our hot glue. To make our box we're gonna start by removing the lid and start adding some rope to the bottom. As you can see I'm not painting it or anything because the rope and the cord will cover everything. We're gonna continue gluing that until we reach three quarters of our box next week box and as you see me here now almost there now I started with my cord and I'm gonna do the same just till I reach like the end the end of the end like you can see here and we're gonna cut and we're gonna start over with our rope like that and with our rope we're gonna cover everything including that lip that the jar no that's not a jar <laughs> that the box has <laughs> and we continue gluing as we cover everything like you can see here and after we finish with that we're gonna cover the lip of that box and that will be it we're gonna move on to our lid. You see that I'm gluing it to the lip of the box. I don't know what's going on with my words today. <laughs> I call that a jar. <laughs> and we're gonna finish that and we're gonna move on to the lid. And for the lid, we're gonna start with our cord and we're gonna glue it together to itself, add it to the center and start making an oval. You have to be careful because if you create a circle you won't be covered, covering a lot of space. And as you can see, we have oval over there, and now I'm gonna start rolling it on itself like that and gluing it to the sides and also to the side of my lid. And now for the outside, I'm gonna use rope for that side of the box lid, and we're gonna give it three rows of rope. like that we give it three rows of that rope now I'm showing you the pattern that I made using the cord and now I'm covering the sides of that so you can see where I had to flip it and fold it on its own to cover the lid. That's why we are using three rows of rope. And after that we will have our beautiful lid. Our lid. Now we're gonna add a bead to the top and we're gonna start adding all the seashells to the sides as you see me here doing it. I'm gonna leave a space in the center to hang something. You will see it a little bit later. And continue adding our seashells like that. We're gonna make a tassel. That's what we're gonna hang to on, on that bead. 
and we're gonna make a tassel using the twine, the baker's twine. I give it like a hundred rows of that, more or less. I wasn't counting, so you just make it till it looks full. Tie it around, cut the bottom, give it a good trim, and then we're gonna add a bead to the top. And I'm having some issues, so I add a little bit of hot glue. We get it in. And that's it. We're gonna tie, cut a little bit more of that tassel and tie it to the top. And this is how they turned out. As you can see, we have our box over here. I love it, it's so cute with its tassel and seashells. We have our clock over here. This is how it's looking. That's how I styled them. They are beautiful together. I love them as a set. And let me give you a closer look. That's how they look. Remember, in the description box down below, I'm going to leave you the link to the playlist and also to both of our challenge hosts. I just want to take this opportunity to thank them for bringing us this awesome challenge. I love how this trash to treasure turned out. And remember, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching this type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.